Wow. How did you not see me? Wow. What are they doing feeding the poor guy to the crabs? My God. Figuring out which side took the rocket. Oh my God! I've never seen that before. That's un. Oh crap! Oh no! <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter! Oh damn it! Oh no! 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 Oh shoot! Acquaintance. Saga has been released from her imprisonment at the hands of King Cossetin and is once again free. I have released your acquaintance from my prison to serve as my concubine. The foul fiend. Wow. This game is not so much a war game as a drama game. Holy crap. He's not considered my spouse anymore. I know it's dangerous. Jaffa and the ship and neutralize those pirates. I will give you extra reward for that. Okay, we're going EVA, guys. Oh, 
Oh my god, no, don't push me off. Oh my god, Serana. Lydia. Guys, if you could stop popping up and shoving me to the side, that would be amazing. Thank you. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> First death. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome back to the Library of Lore. Sorry for the overlapping sound. Today has just been... I, I don't even know what today has been. Everything that's... Uh, everything wants to go wrong. Uh, so we're going to try this dream and see how that works out for us. How's everyone doing? Oh, and uh, that's not supposed to be there. I want the cam off today. Got some weeding done, so that's your day. Oh, that's good. At least you got something going on. Please get through the ads before the good stuff really starts. Well, that's that's the idea. I, I, I'm aware of when the ads go. Okay. Game volume just shot upwards. How's the sound for you? I'm encouraged just by the fact that you can actually hear the game. That's That's a plus. That's part of the reason I started so late today was I started everything up and I could not hear anything. And it took me a while. Productive? Excellent, CD. Excellent. Sounds decent to you. Okay. Uh, so I left off in this shrine. And if I remember correctly, we had just gotten to it. We haven't actually attempted to solve anything yet. So that's going to be the first order of business for today, is poking around and seeing what's what. So we know we've got a chest up there we've got to get, and it looks like this is kind of a pachinko sort of puzzle. Not certain yet what we actually manipulate. Oh, thank you for the shout-out. I appreciate that. Yes, everybody needs to go follow Crystal Dragon if you're not already. I might turn the camera back on later, I don't know. Right now, I'm just... Ugh. <laughs> it's, it's, like I said on the Discord, it's one of those days. <laughs> wow, Aaron Thor. Okay, so how exactly do we manipulate the environment here? Magnesis, it looks like. So that's fun and interesting. Now it does look like there's something maybe up here. Or maybe not. Hmm. 
I turned it off. I don't want the camera on. So they are subject to stasis. What is that down there? Oh, it's a button. Okay. A few people do. The vast majority understand that sometimes streamers just don't want it on. And like I said, I might turn it back on later again. We'll see. This is a genuine brain breaker of a puzzle. What the heck? Is there anything else somewhere that I can grab? It doesn't look like there's anything down there. Nothing back up here. Okay, so the... Uh the plates and the ball and the chest, none of those things, they react to magnesis, so that just seems to completely play no part in this. Huh. Yep, I've heard the same. Hmm. Oh, hang on. Not quite what I had in mind. No. Okay, so a little bit misplaced. <laughs> Still a little bit misplaced. It's very picky. Okay, so it's got to be Cryonis. Oh. Okay. 
we're getting somewhere. You could, I suppose, make it roll all the way across here, except... Doing that... You stop. I think you only get three cryonis blocks of ice. Yeah, you gotta be careful with that. I think they're a little too far downwards. So now we get the button for whatever good that might happen to do us. Okay, so that's the basic solution. We will eventually have to get that chest, of course. But for now, that looks like that's done it. Resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this gift, Ruta's emblem. Oh right, this is one of the champion's missions. I had actually forgotten about that. Collect three emblems to open the path to a new challenge. One remains. In order to hitch a ride behind a sand seal, you'll first need to equip a shield. 
May have an issue with arthritis in your neck this morning that had me in the hospital all day yesterday, early this morning, because it flared up. Caused a nerve to get pinched. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. That's the worst. The good news is now you have a very possible handle on what's causing it. You can work with your dog to deal with it. Excellent. I am very glad to hear that part. Okay. So if I remember correctly, that's these two complete. So we have this one left, which we still don't really have a good handle on. Thanks for the boost up the hill, sir. Good to see you. Have a fantastic night. Hope you're doing well. No, I think Prime you've got to use on desktop for some reason. Don't you worry about it, though. I appreciate the thought, and if you really insist, you can always do it another day. Now I've got the inverse of the problem I was having in Horizon, where I want to use all of the Horizon buttons to use the hang glider, and it's really messing me up. Okay, let's see here. What is that? Okay, so that's one of the challenge shrines. Where are we going? Was it down there? That looks like it could be it. I think that might be it. Yeah, that's basically it. Oh. Like I said, it's going to be one of those days where everything is just wrong. Thank you, Aranor. No, not just you, Bill. I'm sorry you've had a rough day, too. Hopefully you have a better one tomorrow. Thank you for popping by. It really was excellent to see you again. You're recovering from one of those days. Oh, what happened? I'm glad that it's looking better right now. <laughs> Pat. 
passing chips and board. Yes, yes. Okay, we got that. I hear a Korok. Oh, there you are. That might be the better spot to aim at. Seems to hold this position longer. Now yeah, what? Oh, oh, there's more of them. Of course there are more of them. So bad. Now I'm going to see if I can recover a few of those arrows because I'm not really super well equipped. And you know what? I think that answer is no. I probably can't. Okay. I don't suppose anybody has any rough idea of how I would uncover the shrine in this area. So we've been here and poked through it quite a few times at this point, and I am no closer to any kind of a, an inspiration. This area. I'm trying to find the Champion's Ballad Shrine right around where these islands are off the coast, which is Ulria Grotto, it looks like. Do I 
have a shrine open on the northernmost island. I do not. Is that a prerequisite? Because we can go and find one. That kind of sounds like fun. There's one there, and there's one due east of the second island down. Thank you, CD. Kind of sounds like we've already got it handled, maybe. <laughs> For the moment, at least. But if that doesn't clear it up, then that might be very, very useful indeed. Okay, so it looks like these islands are all bridged together. Let's have a closer look at them. stone down there as well, which is nice because I still need to collect some of that. They made a very good job out of making this bridge feel very, 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 very dangerous. <laughs> me think this is indeed the right track. Oh god. <laughs> Skeletons I can ignore. The bats, that's kind of bad news. for the moment. I kind of want to go topside on the island so we might end up facing them again. <laughs> on the northernmost island, the shrine is apparently a little bit hidden, but not too bad. Okay, good to know. I should also probably heal. I probably also need to cook something soon.
Oh, thank you, CD. No need to go to a lot of trouble for it. We're going straight up then. It's all sparky, like. Oh, it's fine. I know roughly where it is. That should be more than good, but thank you. If I do have difficulties with it, then I will definitely... Uh weapon would be helpful. Get those flames away from me. kind of want to snipe him. Okay, so we've got patrols all over the area then. on you. I think... Ow. That's a good sound. Island, you said, so that would be Tingle Island. I wonder if Tingle himself is there. Now, how are my stores of important guardian fighting crap? I, oh, I'm a little bit low, actually. Only four guardian arrows. And to your east now is the other one. Okay. So probably more out here then. East. Oh, you're right. Uh, to my east is the other one, but that's just ocean. 
That doesn't make sense. It's in the ocean? Oh crap, okay. Oh my god, you are kidding me. Hey, Rap does has it going. Rude. Greeny. You just did these in your offline play? Very nice. I have been looking for this particular one for a good while. Oh, crap. Pretty good, Rav. How are you doing? And how are you doing, Greeny? I hope everyone's doing all right. I'm doing okay, but uh, it's actually it's 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 one of those days. Oh. <laughs>
Well, that makes sense since Mifa is the water one. But I want to find it anyway as long as I'm here. Okay. So is the shrine actually visible in the ocean from here, or what's the deal? It looks like I might be a little bit too high up. Can't really make anything out. That was a good one. East of the updraft on the island south of you. How far east? And that's east, not west, right? second here. Oh, so that's actually a fair distance east. So it's out like here. swimming gear for this so let me see where is the new crap Okay, kind of expected that. Uh, 
Maybe we should just find... Uh, maybe we should just find the one on this island first. And then we'll worry about the actual thing. It does look like this one's reasonably... Oh. Why are you suddenly so patrolly? Or were they always and I was just oblivious? I'm actually more inclined to believe I was oblivious. You know what? I think we'll come back and murder some of the guardians. I don't have the health to really take them on right now. Okay, so it's got to be under this rock, but how do we free it? Or either that, or maybe somewhere in here. But it really seems more like it's under the rock. I've never used them before, but in theory, I know how. I guess that'll do it. Thank you. I didn't realize they were going to be so powerful. That's pretty cool. Yep. The travel location will be nice. Mail. Okay, so what do we got here? Drop and rise. Oh, it's another scales. Another scale shrine. That should be fine. Okay, so that looks like it's used as a weight, and it is magnesis. chest over there that's got to be gotten to as well. can't just push the chest off then. That's unfortunate.
Hey, Anstaro, what's going on? Okay, um... Hmm. and stuff, yeah. <laughs> Does give me an idea. So that definitely works, and that's probably also enough height to get me onto that. So very nice. <laughs> diamond and I'm set. Three minute warning on ads by the way guys. I'll be taking my first break in about three minutes and then Maybe after that, I'll turn the camera back on. We'll see. I hope the work is going well on Stara. Oh, okay. I think now is the time we take advantage of our new teleport spot and go back because I can do the spirit orb thing. I can get some more endurance or a heart or whatever. And I can also maybe start restocking a little bit on arrows. Pretty chill, mostly listening to calls give me time to play stuff on the side. Very nice. Okay, so map. Let's go to Kakariko for now. Hey, X Wing, how's it going? I fought my former mentor in a duel, but one, but my former best friend chopped off his head because ambition. Wow.
Okay. Oops. Oh, okay, guys. Uh, we'll do the shrine in just a moment. For the moment, I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be back in a few minutes if you guys need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack or whatever. This is a real good time to do it, and I'll meet you back here in just a few. What on earth is... to Enoriel Eight Eyes. She is the representative of the Pathfinder Society and can organize custom mercenaries for you to, to fill any role in the party you might happen to want that the main characters in the game do not fulfill. So you can create any custom character you care to uh, try out. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I'll need this. Manual of style? Must be nuts. Fuck! <laughs> Gophers! Sorry, dude. It was you or us. I picked us. Oh, shoot. I forgot that melons are not a summer or not a spring crop. Which means I can't get any more unless I can recover some. Let's see. This is actually pretty cool. Also a little bit terrifying. Besides, I thought she was still weirded out that the librarian is now a woman. Oh, whoa. Temple Guardian, Calcium Cost. Oh, crap. Oh my god! Oh boy. Well, that was ill-advised. Oh! <laughs> oh no, he's getting away. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Too bad. Sorry, Jeb, did I forget the minor matter of the parachute? We need to get 
out of this heat zone. Okay, I'm back. Thank you, Greeny. Thank you, Aranar. I'm annoyed. The sound card is not shipping yet. Do I want heart or... Let's do stamina this time. The size of your stamina wheel has been increased, allowing you to perform more actions before getting tired. Wow, Aranor. No, um, for those of you who weren't here at the beginning of stream, I had to order a new sound card because I'm about 90%, maybe 99% certain that my sound card is dying, and that's why I've had so many audio issues of late. So, I ordered it last night along with a couple of little USB thumb drives so I can make some installation media for the laptop I've been working on. And the USB drives are now out for delivery, but the sound card hasn't shipped. So I'm just kind of irritated because I want to get all that set up before stream on Saturday if possible. And that's going to probably be a big job because my audio system is just way too complicated. Yeah, X-Wing, but honestly, I wasn't very happy with this sound card even when I got it because I had got it with the intention of making my mic sound better, only to discover after the fact that the sound card has some sort of a problem, like it's inherent in the type of card, so that you get horrible buzzing on the mic when you use it, so I've never been able to actually use it for that. The new one I should be able to. Okay, so we've got our enhanced stamina wheel. I got some arrows. Let's visit a few stables so that we can find Beetle and get some more crap. Should see the picture. Oh, I actually did see that, Greeny. That was quite a sight. But yeah. Pictures, things, and stuff, or sandboxy games, either of those is pretty good. It's very Zelda-esque, very Zelda-related, so sandboxy's fine. That's very relevant. Huggy, how's it going? Oh, I forgot to put the camera back on. Or, yeah, I forgot to put the camera back on. So, I will do that next break. I have to go probably make some coffee and tea next break anyway. Let me just get a couple things. Uh, you know what, here. Um... I think it's been 5 to 10 to 15 years since you last had to buy a sound card. Onboard sound has gotten better, but sound cards still offer an immense improvement over the quality of any onboard sound. Oh, is it that time again? Wow. Beetle, where the heck are you, sir? Are you in here? You're in here. Thank you, sir. I am in 
need of all your finest arrows, sir. Okay. You can't handle my finest arrows. <laughs> I cleared some space in my PS5 today in preparation for Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Its space requirement is insane. Yeah. In some ways, I'm kind of glad that I'm just not going to be able to get it. At least not right away. Then it'll give me more time to plan for it. Maybe do that playthrough of Fallen Order I wanted to do. Clear some space. Figure out whether I'm getting it for PS5 or PC. All that kind of stuff. Uh, the sound card was not an expense I had planned for, so I've just decided I can't do Star Wars this time. Not at launch. As soon as possible after launch, but not at launch. It's too much. Sound cards are not insanely expensive, but it's still... You know, it's more than I was planning on. <laughs> you must be really busy, you know, saving the world and all. So instead of spending your time chatting with random strangers, maybe think about doing your job, yeah? How about you worry about you doing your job, and I will worry about how I do mine and when, okay? Wow. I still need all of your finest arrows. There we go. That feels better. Hey, Hammer, how's it going? 145 gigs. And a hundred gig download if you buy physical. Yikes. Yeah, Burning Shores, I was playing that. I streamed that a couple times. And it's phenomenal. I am absolutely in love with it as much as I am with the regular, just, uh, you know, Forbidden West game. Incredible experience so far. Looking forward to getting back into that. And that's another plus of not getting Star Wars right away is that I will have more time to work on Breath of the Wild and finish that for Tears of the Kingdom. I will also have more time to clear out uh, the Burning Shores. So that's going to be good. That's going to be very, very good. I think we'll do one more stable's worth of arrows. So let's maybe go here to the edge of the desert. And then we'll see where that gets us. We're over a hundred arrows now, which is good. That's that's a decent number. But I want more than that because I'm going to have to spend some getting more of the ancient arrows as well. Okay, stable is over here. Beetle, where are you? Where are you, sir? Hello, Beetle. There you are. Hmm? Could that be? That's an energetic rhino beetle. That's a rare beetle you almost never see. I need to remember that he keeps giving me these energetic elixirs when I start running wow. out during tall climbs. Wow. 
143, that seems pretty decent. <laughs> Thank you, Beetle. Much appreciated. I think the Horizon Zero Dawn combat mechanics are my favorite ever. It is just so much fun fighting machines. Yeah, it's really... Ugh. Horizon Zero Dawn was a real eye-opener for me. It instantly became one of my favorite story-based games of all time. And Horizon Forbidden West somehow managed to not only equal, but actually surpass the original. Okay, let's grab some of these. Oh, I can only get the one. I've officially run out of ancient shafts. I could get the smaller bundles, but I guess that's gonna have to do for now. Well, still, I'm much better geared up than I was. So, with that in mind, go back here and see what we can find. Now, Greeny, you said I have to go back to the island south of this island. So let's do that. That's going to be easier said than done, of course, but we'll do what we can. Rude. How dare you. I'm gonna have to battle bats on the way back, so let's get that set up. Rude. Oh my god, stop it. rather fight them on the island if I possibly can. Okay. Come at me. Thank you. Oh, rude. Moblin arms, huh? Well, I can get rid of this one. Okay. Now, do I have to come to this island because I need to use this thermal, or what's the deal? southern edge of the island. Okay. Now, do we have to drop down levels, go right around to where the bridge is, or more around here? What's the deal? Middle of the bridge and face east. So, this bridge here? There are flying guardians, though. That's okay. I now have more guardian arrows. And 
Guardians are an excellent source of the ancient shafts that I just ran extremely low on, so if I have to murder a few of them, that's not the end of the world. For me. Back. Glowing blue circle in the water about due east of that spot. Thank you. Make Beatles Day again sometime shortly. Around 5 a.m. Oh, that's conveniently timed then. You mean, oh, you mean it's time of day dependent? Holy crap. I see it. Thank you, Greeny. See what we got here. There was a clue to jump from a particular cliff, huh? I guess I never found that particular clue. Okay. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Ki Defunia. In the name of the goddess Hydea, I offer this trial. The melting point. So that kind of implies the use of ice and fire here. And they are providing torches. Desperately need another axe. I'm gonna take this torch because I don't want to waste my durability up torch. There's a hierarchy of torches. I don't know if you guys realize this. can pick this up now? Holy crap, that's cool. Oh, 
I love this puzzle. This is great. Enjoy your lurk, Aradar. Okay, and it looks like I need to do the same again. See, it's this kind of stuff in this game that makes me just... Ugh, I can't wait for Tears of the Kingdom. Where so much of it is designed for this kind of interactability. Okay, so now I've got four extra blocks of ice. What do we need to do? We've got torches all over the place. Presumably I don't need those buttons anymore, so let's put this... Oops. Can I push you? Yes, I can. No. Okay, so what is... Okay. Um... Grab this one. Do I have a flame? No, I don't have one on me. Oh, well, I mean... No, I actually I don't have any flame arrows either. Wow. I can always... Now that I've got this, I can teleport back to the shrine, right? That might not necessarily be the biggest issue. I do have a flame weapon on display back at my house. Yeah, I can travel to the shrine, so that's not... Oh, wow, that was much further out than I thought it was. Holy crap. So let's go back to whatever the town is. Hot No Village, I think I live in. I don't really need it, I'm sure. I have no doubt that that's true, but it's going to be convenient, and I'm all about the convenience factor. So if I've got it there, why not take advantage of it? I can get rid of this crappy torch and I'll just use a flame sword. Where do I live again? I'm back here. You guys are back? Don't you guys have work to do? Here, I'll give you a torch. Oh, I could also maybe do a little cooking since I'm getting a bit short on stuff that I've prepared already. Let's see. Okay. So... 
Not, oh wow, even better. What else can I do? The, oh, damn it. The lotus seeds, their movement speed. Yeah, that kind of killed the... Oh, well, that's fine. Yeah, I shouldn't be using these ones. I didn't realize they were a movement speed booster. That's okay. Sometimes you don't need the full maximum effect. You just need some healing, so I'll go with it. do for now. Can always do more. <laughs> Mepha's cooldown goes from 24 minutes to 8 minutes. Damn. That is pretty nice. Okay, let's get back in here. See, this is already a lot easier. Forty-one months. Wow. Yeah, but looking while I finish my final exam, Emil. <laughs> Holy crap! Ultra, good luck on your exam. Thank you so much for looking. I really appreciate you, and I appreciate you being here. It's really, really amazing. How are you doing? I hope it's going well. 
Thank you for the shout out, Greeny. I appreciate that. Oh, crap. Okay. I can also melt the ones in the water. Good to know. Now, okay, so they're not big enough or small enough yet that I can pick them up. It's going mildly garbage, but it is what it is. If it makes you feel even remotely better, Ultra, I'm having one of those days, too. Today has just been... It's been a day. <laughs> I will tell you all about it after you finish your exam. I don't want to distract you. Okay. Looks like we're good. It has, oh my god, Greeny, that's awesome. That game does look really fun, actually. I, I think I've already added that one to my wish list. I think I might need to play that at some point. Okay, now one small issue with using the... Uh, The what's your, what you might call it, the flame blade. It's gonna melt whatever I'm standing on too, which the torch will not do. So there is there is a potential issue there. It was fun, but your PC can't handle it, really, Callan Ray. I'm surprised that it has such a high demand. logistics here. Still shrinking that one. Oh, it actually has a very big area of effect. It's not helping. It's okay, though. That one back there closer to the ramp is still full size, so I can just shuffle them around if I need to, or I can work on the other side a little bit. Shouldn't be too big an issue. Plus, I can now go over here because I've got more space. I'm 
just kind of... Oh, oh. I think we're good. Almost. Okay, good. I can still jump up. That was my main concern. Okay, so now we can pass through. And that's ramped, so we can presumably bring that big ice cube with us, if we need it. But let's be honest, what are the chances we're going to need that? <coughs> okay, so let's see. So I can't push this yet. Well, we can move it. It's very slow, but we can move it. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. dare fall off the edge, that would be the worst. Come on. 
You can do it. Little more. Come on, Link. Come on. There it goes. Okay. We made it. How's it going? It's good to see you. Now, I can't actually climb on that, but that should be okay. Now, I just have to hope... Thank you very much for the shout out, Greeny. Oh, problem is, that's not big enough to climb on, is it? I don't think that actually does me much good. I can't just stack them up, can I? No. Yeah, I was hoping to avoid melting a little more, but if you gotta do it, you gotta do it. Too bad. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I bestow you upon this gift. Up bestow upon you this gift, Ruta's emblem. Yeah, they were pretty good. The first one I had to do today boggled me for a little bit. But I got there eventually. The commemorative symbol of a water trial's completion by one who wishes to control a divine beast. Collecting three emblems will lead to a new challenge. Now that you have collected three emblems, you must go to divine beast Valruta. Uh, which one did I do first? I think it was the one closest to the city. It was it was a little while ago before I started playing Burning Shores, so I'm not entirely certain. Would have been in this vicinity somewhere, I think. This one, Ma Ilia. 
the secret stairway. That one was pretty fun. Yeah, that one. <laughs> it was interesting. Oh, I love the sound of the rain in this area. It's so good. Okay. Oh, I just realized something. Hang on. There we go. You already disagreed with one of their tree facts? What's that, Greeny? Need to fact check yourself? To the one who approaches this divine beast in the name of Goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. In exchange for Ruta's emblems, you will be granted the chance to tread through the realm of memories. Probably just as well because I don't remember the battle we had to do in this. Those who lack determination will find this trial unforgiving. Do not take this place lightly, nor dismiss it as merely a world within your mind. The truth is much deeper than you know. Methuselah, the oldest single tree in the world, is a bristlecone pine. Called it a longleaf pine. Interesting. Could they be alternate names for the same tree? This illusory realm was created from the depths of your memories. I'm thinking they're using Link's memories because I have no memory of this place. The enemy you face is the product of the fear that dwells within. You must overcome this fear to proceed. This battle is a trial of the soul. You must emerge victorious using only the tools provided. I think Longleaf is a broader family name. That would make sense. Water Blight Ganon. Okay, so. Quick refresher. What are the basic strategies that I used to defeat this guy a million years ago? Also known as 2020. Bristlecone pines are short-leafed. Okay. Light scale, ceremonial. Cryo power is important. No, no need to just hint, Greeny. We're close enough to the release of Tears of the Kingdom that hinting you don't need to do. Just flat out spoil it. It's fine. No shield? Oh, I guess that's the cryonis power. Cryo to block things, also to jump higher. Okay. <laughs> Ganon. 
Very rude. Okay, I thought maybe getting out of the water was enough. It does not appear to be. We're running out of time, Ultra. I can't just, you know, try to figure everything out on my own at this point. Did you turn Diff Lock off? Wow. platform to do it. Jerk. I wish I remembered doing this fight the first time. Back here. Oh, I wasted it. Come on. have ads beginning very oh what do you cheater that was my platform What the hell? No! 
god. Got it. Oh, we have ads starting soon. We're gonna have to finish this afterwards. So sorry, folks. I'll be back in just a few. Uh, I will also be making coffee and tea, so this will be a slightly longer break. <laughs> oh my god. Well, <laughs> what? <laughs> the commander uh, you can't outrun me the commander Ranger is lit reinforcements are coming oh man the, co the commander leaped off to his own death hey what die one <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. A guard uniform should do nicely, but you'll need to draw him out and isolate him. Or we could just do this one. Oh! What are you doing here? You're supposed to be dead. I mean, you are dead, but you know what I mean. Ah! Rude! Really? What, this one here? This is not a shuttle. I mean, it, it's comparable. It's considered to be a sort of shuttle, but this is a Federation runabout, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I love that you can get so up close to it. Look at that. That looks so nice. Ugh. They've done some good stuff with this just since the time I've been away. Climb tree. This tree is dead and seems to be free of the slick secretion some of the others generate. You begin to shimmy your way up the snag. Crack. <laughs> Holy log jams, Batman. You almost ate the big one. Well... I mean, that was kind of what I was thinking we needed to do, though not the way I was expecting to do it. Uh. You okay, game? This is kind of the opposite of the problem I usually encounter. <laughs> Instead of falling through the world, apparently I can just freely walk on top of it now. What? Who designed this vessel? Oh my god! That has to be a reference. That must be a reference. There's no way that's not a reference. Strog Jog Rog? Um. 
No explosions. What's up? Oh. <laughs> wow. Bobby, thank you so much for the follow, man. I appreciate that. Oh, there's more than one of them. <laughs> I think he, one of them just took a flying leap off that tower. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, shoot. Uh Very cool. Gotcha. Hey. This is not the arrangement I have with you guys. When I shoot, you die. That's the deal. Dodged, you son of a... Wow. It's a little harder than the first game. Not that the game would ever throw anything really terrible at us. Look over there. A new water project. Ah! Giant Chara spider? What the hell? That's so disgusting. Ooh. I hate it. I, that was completely an accident. Looks like it might actually get you up to the elevation you need to get up onto that platform up there. Ah, you move too much. I'm hardly moving at all, silly. How's that? Nice and still for you now? Well, I'm not cold anymore. I stand corrected. Nobody for you to worry about. Nobody at all. Can I free the operative with the spider? No? Shoot. Okay. Uh-oh. Um. Let's transmit this before I... Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> oh boy. Um, it's a good thing I wasn't planning on taking off. Uh. Oh, what the heck? Look at this. This is gorgeous. Is this a freaking trinary system with red, with literal RGB suns? Wow. It's amazing how little I care about the stalkers these days. What the hell was that? That's not what I was expecting. Way to go, Ace. You blundered your way to within range of the pirate's jello gun. 
you suffocate in an impenetrable block of jello. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I am back. Cryo to block things. Yeah. That seems more trouble than it's worth, though. I think stasising one of the blocks to block the others and hiding behind it is a better strategy for me, at least. Thank you, Kellen Ray. Thank you, Greeny. Die. Thank you. Oh, the laser blast. Yeah, maybe. That might have that probably would have been good, yes. <laughs> Take that wet cannon. Thank you, Edsara. Now that I've fought it again, I vaguely remember the first time. Mm. Perhaps meeting you here was no coincidence. This is a perfect spot for you to get lost in your thoughts, as well as a perfect spot for me to write a song. Uh, wandering around here, listening to anecdotes about champion Mifa has truly invigorated me. Mm. In fact, it has inspired me to honor her in my own way separate from my teacher's unfinished song. That is why I felt inclined to roost here near the divine beast Baruta, which Mifa herself mastered. Mm. I've written a song to try and capture the essence of champion Mifa. Recall the champion of Ruta's wrath before she walked her chosen path. Mifa's kindness was known to all Which is why the princess came to call. So, princess, may I ask who the other chosen champions are? Goron Vigilance, Daruk. Rito Confidence, Rivali, Gerudo Spirit, Obosa, and also the Hylian with the sword that seals the darkness. <gasps> Link. Oh. This is a pretty good one. I like this one so far. We'll go together so you can get a feel for it. Aww. Let's go. us. I'm counting on you to protect our beloved home from harm. Understood? I believe in you. Now, shall we try one more time? That's a really good one. 
So was Mifa his mother or his sister? Hmm. Though she was known for her kindness, it seems the Zora princess could be quite strict when necessary. So, what do you think of Champion Mifa's song? By writing a song that captures the determination of Champion Mifa, I feel closer than ever to my dear teacher. I feel much more confident that I can do those missing lyrics justice. She would have been next in line for the throne if she hadn't become the champion. Okay, so sister, most likely. You're so strong. So much stronger than before. The power of Mipha's grace will now recharge much faster. As powerful as you are, I am certain you can save Hyrule. As well as the princess who awaits you. Fair enough, Greeny. Fair enough. Mipha's Grace Plus. Champion Mipha's Divine Gift. If your hearts run out, you'll automatically be resurrected with full health, plus temporary bonus hearts. It now requires less time to recharge. All right. See you at the next one, Cass. Where is the next one? So that's two down, two to go. Um... Find the fairy fountain. Oh, we never did figure out how to lead the guy to the fairy fountain in Kakariko Village, did we? Although, per lore, there have been princes of Hyrule, Zelda's brother, I didn't know that Zelda had a brother, that have become kings even though Zelda was older. We've never seen a Queen Zelda either. Interesting. All right, let's see. So there is this one in the Lava Lands. That one might not be a bad one. Well, I, I don't think there is a bad one, really. And I think we already did... The, yeah, we did the Garuda one. So there's... The Champion's Ballad. Let's do the Lava one and get that out of the way, because I hate the Lava Lands. I mean, they're kind of ironically pretty cool, but at the same time, they're a real pain in the butt to travel through. So we're going to take care of that one next. That's the entire plot point of Adventure of Link. Zelda's brother kind of got tricked into putting his sister into a deep sleep. Okay. His descendant was the Princess Zelda from the original Zelda. Wonky time stuff, yeah. I'm just gonna mostly concern myself with the ins and outs of maybe the original Zelda, the very first game, and this game, and Tears of the Kingdom. And maybe a little bit of Wind Waker. The rest of them, just weird stuff went on, and I don't really need to concern myself too much. Oh, hello. Oh. Maybe not with the fire arrows. Oh, those are not fire arrows. Never mind. Right. Normal arrows become fire arrows. Okay, where are we? We're going the wrong way. We want to go this way ish. Okay, I get it.
Zelda was captured in original Legend of Zelda. You save her in the Triforce from the Demon King Ganon. Then the same Link finds out there's another Zelda in a magical sleep that you must save before Ganon's followers resurrect her. It turns out Sleeping Zelda is the ancestor of the Zelda you saved in the previous game. Okay. Resurrect Ganon, not her. Oh, wow. Okay, they do get into some weird stuff, don't they? Okay, there's a giant lava river down there. That's inconvenient. Kind of seems like I'm going to... Be grateful that I got the uh, stamina upgrade here. There isn't any time travel shenanigans until Ocarina of Time. Yeah. Which I'm just not going to worry about. Those are the ones that really don't interest me very much. I don't really go for the big monolithic, this is just one giant series of puzzles kind of games as much. They can be fun, don't get me wrong. Wind Waker was kind of like that. But Wind Waker also had more of the open world elements that drew me to Breath of the Wild. How are you doing, Bob? It's good to see you, by the way. I applaud your courage in coming here. <coughs> the locations that will be revealed to you are of trials that will enhance the power sleeping within. Do not let your guard down. Oh my god, that's right on the frickin' volcano. When should I expect to become Magneto? I had my MRI at 11.30 and underwent 20 minutes of magnetic resonance radiation, so I should be able to control metal soon, right? Yes, I would, I would definitely say so, Callan Ray. Pretty sure that's how that works. This stone monument has survived for 10,000 years. What secrets does it hold? Oh. What's this? A traveler in the land of flames? Are you truly able to withstand the heat? I know it's not my business, but I'm rather concerned. Mm. <coughs> it must be that you applied an ample amount of fireproof elixir just as I did. Is that so? Nope. Oh. How about that? You must have a natural ability to withstand intense heat, just like the Gorons. Or maybe it's the giant suit of uh, heat-proof armor that I'm wearing. Go figure. As for me, if I don't use fireproof elixir, I go from a bard to a baked bird. Well, never mind my musings. Oh. Look, as expected, there's one here too. One of the monuments mentioned in my teacher's unfinished song. Oh. Uh, I wonder if my teacher ever contemplated this very song at this very spot. The song my teacher left behind. There's a verse about the trials that the champion Daruk overcame. Allow me to sing it for you. Uh, 
Crawling flame on a mighty peak, Redania's champion never weak. The hero's power shall grow. Seek trials, monuments show. One, stop a titan of molten stone. Two, follow rings of light alone. Oh, I think I know the titan he's talking about. Three, survive lava's fiery fate. Champion, trials await. So, did it move you? By steeping myself in Legends of the Champions, I'm beginning to form a deeper understanding of them. This will prove invaluable in writing the key verses of the song. I can imagine it vividly, the champion's vigilance from 100 years ago. Mm. My teacher always advised that to write good songs, one must travel the world and meet lots of people. That is why I spend my days afoot talking to anyone who will listen. I was lucky enough to meet with Yunobu and Bluto from Goron City, both of whom knew much about the Goron champion. They regaled me with some rather interesting stories. Oh. I'm certain the stories they shared will help greatly in my efforts to accurately write the song's key verses. All right. There we go. I have no idea about the other two, but that one at least is pretty freaking obvious. So, let's see. Uh, we want this, and we want album, and we want a close look at that. No, we don't want to delete that. Okay, so there's like four broader rivers on the one side, and it's on there. Okay. So where's the map? No, map. I'm thinking it's going to be here. Either that or it's the same one that Varudanya's on, but that seems a little on the unlikely side. So I'm going to stick with this one for the time being. Or it could be here. It's... We're just basically going to have to muck around and see what we can find. Now, as for the others... Okay, so there's a thing near the border where we've got water and lava side-by-side-ish. -side that might be tricky to spot, but mm, let's, let's see what we can locate. No, okay, so that's right around here. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's right around this area. And then, looks like there's a big outcrop over top of lava with a stone crab off to the other side, and then on the other side is what we're looking for. That would be the crab. That's the shrine that we did earlier. So we're going somewhere in this vicinity. Muck around and find out. Yes, exactly. Glad I wasn't the only one thinking that. Yeah, I know, right?
Okay. Oh, yeah. I think this is the lava talus. Is this the lava talus? It kind of looks like the lava talus area. Tell you what, how about we save? I've never enjoyed the Talos battles. We'll have to see if we can make this one work. Maybe it isn't? I don't know. Oh, we're not there yet. Oh, this is not the Talus. This is Survive Lava. Okay. What's the worst that could happen? Wow. Hey, Jarek, how's it going? New note. <laughs> Okay, that, um, didn't go quite the way I was expecting. Maybe we need to talk to these guys. Feel the burn, brother. Pump it up, brother. Ah, it's the fourth Goron blood, brother. He who somehow survived our famous gut check challenge. How's, how's things going, Jarek? That's a few months, 46 months. That's amazing. That's incredible. That's very, very close to four years now. Thank you so much, Jarek. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well today. Do you know why Champion Daruk chose this place to train, brother? Neither do we, but by but us Goron Blood Brothers are going to find out by completing the training ourselves. I'm sure this is some part of Lord Daruk's secret Goron Champ training. Intense. We're going to do all we can to be mighty Gorons just like Lord Daruk. It's the only poss possible path for the Goron Blood Brothers. Feel the burn, brother. You see that glowing ring in the lava? Think of it as a target and stand on the lava, brother. So sweaty, brother. Even Gorons can't walk on lava. I wonder if Lord Daruk really did this training. Not that I doubt him, brother. No wonder Lord Daruk chose this spot. It's hardcore, brother. This training is going to be rough. I can almost taste the gains. Time to strategize, brothers. Mipha's grace is ready. Wow, that's so fast. Have to lurk and dip. Mom needs some food and the store closes in an hour or two. No worries, Jarek. You go do what you got to do. Enjoy your lurk. Okay, is there anything? Ah. Sometimes a direct approach is needed. Oh, I hope. 
hope I didn't just lose that one. Hmm. Oh, the rocks are movable? Okay, hang on. So this is a tricky bridge building exercise, effectively, is what I'm getting the impression of here. Or at the very, very least, you have to build some sort of a landing platform. But in order to build the platform, I'm kind of guessing you've got to build a bridge so you have something to stand on to build it that far out. this one. Oh, nothing. That's weird. Ah! Oh god. No. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, that's not fun. The rock rolling around under me while I'm maneuvering this crate? Not a fan. Gotta say, not a big fan. Move the crate back, not me. take a look at my handiwork here. I don't know that that far rock is in the correct position yet. Oh, it's not. It's too far, actually. That's encouraging, though. Okay. That's, that, that's good. That means I have enough reach to be able to do it.
good. Maybe just barely. Oh no, I think we're good. Nice. Now the question is, how do I get back from there? <laughs> now I have to build the bridge the other way. Nope, or I could just die and then I'll respawn somewhere else and be able to get to the shrine. I mean, that works too. Okay. Renu Hanukkah Shrine. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Renu Hanukkah. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Block the blaze. With what? Surprising. I don't see anything in the lava that might be of use. one wasn't so terrible. Ah, uh, now here. Those look destructible. And that, that looks grabbable. That's, that's freaking cool. I like that. That's very clever. That's a neat solution to a puzzle. Okay, so that takes care of the first one. should be able to stand here, or um, probably more safely back here. Okay, 
assume I'm gonna need both of these. So let's take this one. Oh yeah, I definitely need both of them. Holy crap, okay. Let's put you there. Put this right here. God, it's one of these. Okay, so what is our purpose here? Oh, I see. Uh, that's also kind of clever. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I bestow you, but bestow upon you this gift, Rudania's emblem. Commemorative symbol of a fire trial's completion by one who wishes to control a divine beast. Collecting three emblems will lead to a new challenge. Collect three emblems to open the path to a new challenge. Two remain. Okay. <coughs> the scattered one-hit obliterator led you to a location where a stone monument with a map of trials appeared. Cass's song seems related. Thank you, Kellen Ray. All right, so next... That was the one closer to the water. We've got the one on the volcano, which is probably gonna end up being last. Let's try to get that one. So we're gonna go here.
It's a good thing Link doesn't take a stamina hit for wearing all this heavy armor while running around this area. shooting a little bit. We want to be more in this vicinity. Nope, you're an Octorok. Rude. How dare you dodge. One, stop a titan of molten stone. Two, follow rings of light alone. I think we did that one. Oh, no. No, wait a minute. Three, survive lava's fiery fate. We did three. So this must be two, because it's definitely not the titan of molten stone, I don't believe. I'm pretty sure we've already gone up against the um, titan of molten stone previously. There we go. of light alone. Where are we going to... I don't even see rings. Anybody have any advice for this area? Or even outright spoilers? That's also acceptable. I mean, we've got the two torches there, and there's a bunch of metal weapons, so maybe I need to look around with Magnesis. But I'm not really seeing much of anything. Or is it possible that maybe I'm in the right area, but the wrong specifics? Oh, good. It put me back on the island. Thanks. I guess we're using Mipha's grace again. <laughs> Hot potato? What does that mean, Kellen, right? Just Link, he was a hot potato. It's hard to argue. not fall in the lava again. Okay, let's check the album. Wait. Oh, right, I forgot about that mission. That's not an important one, but 
even so. Okay, so it's kind of right on that out projecting bit. Which really does look like right there. We have ads beginning in about three minutes, guys. There's a ring of weapons embedded in the stone. Looks like four broadswords and two claymores. <clears throat> I thought there was mining over there. Doesn't look like it. Nothing looks stasisable. It's about time I start the next break, though, so I guess we'll have to figure it out when I get back. So if you guys need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack or whatever, this is a really good time to do it. And I will meet you back here very shortly. It's been a bit of a day. Lots of things going right. Lots of things going wrong. My airport is on fire. What the hell? Okay. Oh, you caught up. Two of you did. Where's Lydia? Lydia, oh, there you are. Okay. Come on, Lydia. I haven't given you that much to carry. That's a lie. Yes, I have. Nice. A guard uniform should do nicely, but you'll need to draw him out and isolate him. Or we could just do this one. Oop. What are they doing? Feeding the poor guy to the crabs? Gracias. You got it. No! Ah! Ah! 
Whoops. Oh, there you are. There you go! Mine launcher. I, oh my god, I did it! I did it! I got rid of his stealth generator. Go back to the way you That's came, amazing. It's dangerous. Want the extra science? So let's go with that. I'll try for the hanging gardens. I don't think I'm going to get it, but we'll try it. Wasn't I just using Obi Wan? Do it. Suck, puppet hounds. Ah! Gotcha, sucker. Okay, I am back. Welcome back, Aranar. And... Ugh. Have a good one, Calenray. Back in 30 to 50 minutes? No problem. Okay. I am a little stumped about this one. I do hear something, though. There's a kind of chime in the air here. I don't know if that's related. Thank you, Aranor. I don't suppose you have any idea how I do this one, do you? it up okay let's see so we're back around here trying to find that yellow spot so far it's proving to be very elusive Kamiya Umuna Shrine, yeah, that...
Oh, that's not the correct location, or at least that's... The shrine's not in the same location, but the shrine... Well, I'm looking for the green one there, but I have to get it to appear before that map actually helps at all. I'm looking for the unlock conditions to open that shrine up. The shrine isn't just there, I can't just go directly there. The hint, let me find the adventure log. This is number two, or at least I believe it's number two. Follow rings of light alone. Unfortunately, there's no sign of any rings of light in the area. Okay, let's see. Finding the stone monument. Stone Monument is on a high cliff to the southwest of Goron City. Warp to Shea, Mosha. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, we already did the, that. Stop a Titan of Molten Stone. Kamiya Omuna. Wait. That. No, that's. Maybe this is the Igneotalis one. He's a rather tough fella to uh, locate then. Igneotalis Titan. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, that explains why I can't find the Rings of Light. So we don't need that island. We have to go, and that would probably be his back poking up. So let's save the game. That is one supremely powerful updraft. Holy crap. Look at that thing. I can't use regular explosive arrows, which is just as well because I don't want to lose them. So... Hello. Oh, they just kind of fly away. Ooh! Oh my god. Uh, it's a good thing I cooked some more food. This could be a very short battle. I suck at fighting these things. Okay, that's clearly not the way. Where's all my weaponry? my guardian bow.
You want to follow me? I'm annoying, right? You got to come over all, all the way out of here, out of the lava, maybe? I think it wants me to use that updraft to get over there with the... Uh... Oh! <laughs> yeah, I kind of thought so. It did suggest ice arrows. Yeah, but I only have one. I think there is. I never did master that technique. That might be a good one to have. Damn it. I might need to go shopping for ice arrows. Ooh. Getting tossed like that is just a death sentence. That doesn't help either. Anything else that might actually damage it? I'm gonna have to try this and hope that it works. Long gay buddy, wow. I'm a little upset I didn't get any of the loot that thing dropped, but we did it. And we only died like five or six thousand times. Supposedly Salongza Bowser? Really? How do you get the one from the other? That's weird. sets foot in this shrine, I am Kamiya Omuna. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. 
Moving targets. Oh, they're not kidding about moving targets. Holy crap. All right. Oh. <laughs> not what I had in mind. <laughs> This one looks evil. <laughs> you are not wrong. Oh, and I see that chest there. I don't know if we're going to bother with it. Hey, Jim. How's it going? It's good to see you. You thought that one looked evil? Even the whole shrine looks evil. good enough. Oh, 
Jesus. Okay. Oh my god. I think I see what we have to do. That's right. Let's test it and find out. Nope. Okay. It's actually extremely difficult to rotate it around any of the axes. There's one that's not too bad, but the rest of it, the motion controls really fight you. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I bestow you upon you this gift, Rodanya's emblem. Collect three emblems to open the path to a new challenge. One remains. So that's the combat trial one finished and the land on the lava spot. So we have the rings, the traversal. That one shouldn't be too, too terrible, hopefully. So that's going to be right there. So let's get to the Bridge of Elden. So we gotta climb all the way up there to one of the peaks. 
and we're not entirely certain which one yet. Yes, absolutely. Especially if it involves saving the game. Warp to... Oh. I didn't even think about that one, but you're right. That's going to be much easier. Thank you. Okay. Hello again, Rudanya. Ah, there we are. That's a tight challenge. Holy crap. All right. At least Rudania makes for a very convenient starting warp location. This is an interesting one, though. I like it. I will take easy but tedious over fighting megatalysis anytime. Big improvement in my opinion. playing around with this. Speed is actually your enemy in this one. If you try to go too fast, you're just going to miss. If you slow down a little bit, it's much easier. Wasn't so bad. Sharo Lund Shrine.
<laughs> that was pretty fun, Aaron Thor. It's just such an assumed thing. It's difficult to conceive on occasion. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Jaro Lun. In the name of the goddess Ilya, I offer this trial. Blind spots. All right. Before we just blindly... Speaking of blinds... Oh. Oh, this is an interesting one. Crap. Wow. Okay. So I see exactly what, what you have to do. I'm not clear on exactly how long you have to do it. I think people would assume I'd followed, yes. That was not what I had in mind. Come on. Link. I don't blame him. Frankly, that looks terrifying. actually. Okay, so what's the trick here? This is a fun one so far, I gotta say. I like it. I think saving inside the shrine is actually going to accomplish anything, but it makes me feel better, so I'm going to do it. from another angle, I think. There has to be a catch. This one looks too easy, and there's no way they actually make it easy. Those spikes exist for a reason. see. Oh, shoot. Okay. Oh. Yeah, okay. Wow. Oh, boy. Now, I wonder if I can blow them up or if it just spawns new ones.
The good news is I do seem to be able to blow them up. So I think it's just assumed that you're going to die once in a while. Not done yet. Take it. I was not expecting that. Kind of a nice little bonus. I would not have expected ice to play such a major part of a fire challenge, but there we go. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I bestow you upon you this gift, Rudania's emblem. Collected three emblems, you must go to Divine Beast Varudanya.
Okay. Seems like an opportune time to save again. <sighs> and now I have to remember how to fight this guy again, but this one, at least I did this this year, so hopefully it won't be too bad. I mean, I managed to do it the first time around, right? Okay, Varadonia. To the one who approaches this divine beast, in the name of Goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Thank you, Jim! In exchange for Redonia's emblems, you will be granted the chance to tread through the realm of memories. Those who lack determination will find this trial unforgiving. Do not take this place lightly, nor dismiss it as merely a world within your mind. The truth is much deeper than you know. This illusory realm was created from the depths of your memories. The enemy you face is a product of the fear that dwells within. You must overcome this fear to proceed. This battle is a trial of the soul. You must emerge victorious using only the tools provided. <laughs> Wouldn't doubt it, Aranar. Blight Ganon. Okay. What did they give me? I've got five ice arrows and a bow. I've got Boulder Breaker. Not bad. And I have no shield. Okay. And they give me very little to eat so that I can heal. For water blight again, and I didn't even have to use it. Oof, okay. Okay, so I've still got my ability too. That's a plus.
I don't think Crayonis is going to work, but Stasis? Maybe? Big memories of this part of the battle. I'm not sure I remember what it was that knocked him out of this mode, though. Unless it was... I don't think I can shoot, can I? I still have a few arrows. Oh, I remember, I remember. Stop knocking me down mid-attack, sir. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. So close. <sighs> There's no healing, Greeny. There is no healing. Once you've eaten your little bit of food that they give you to restore, like maybe one and a half hearts if you're lucky, that's it. Round two. I think we have time to do one more round. And then I'm going to have to take another break. It's assuming that it's used too late. Yeah, but in my brain, there is a big difference between too late and just flat out, there is that, that's not a thing. Interesting thing you discovered. What's that? I think we can skip this. Yeah. 
if you eat a potion or food with a buff before you go in, you retain the buff. Oh, interesting. Okay. Ganon, stop it. That's very rude. What did I just say? It is my pleasure. This is a promising beginning. How dare you run away, sir? There's a reason I don't do Dark Souls and all them. That's a good one. why it doesn't always work but sometimes it works brilliantly thank you thank you greenie <laughs> Aims are different. Our feet took us to the same destination. I speak figuratively, of course. I travel by wing rather than by foot. Ah, uh, wandering around here and listening to anecdotes about Champion Daruk has truly invigorated me. Mm. In fact, it has inspired me to honor him in my own way, separate from my teacher's unfinished song. And that is why I felt inclined to roost here near the divine beast Vagrudanya, which Daruk himself mastered. Hmm. I've written a song to try and capture the essence of Champion Daruk. Recall Rudanya's Champion of Flame. Before his fated moment finally came. This is the tale of Great Daruk's task. And the princess who came to ask. Tiny 
princess. I'm the fearless guru, Captain. And if I rule needs my help, I'll gladly lay down my life. Thank you, Daruk. Not sure if it's Calamity Ganon's fault or what, but I hear monsters have been attacking people more than ever lately. Times like these, you shouldn't leave the castle without a horde of mighty Gorons to watch your back. You sound like Father. He's assigning a knight to watch over me wherever I go. I hear the top contender is the most accomplished swordsman in all of Hyrule. Hmm? That could only be... What the? They really are all over the place these days. Is someone being attacked? Cowards! Wait here, princess. This is a pretty awesome one, too. I like it. Stands a chance when fighting me, the Almighty Daru. <laughs> oh, you're safe. Oh, doggo. Here was the one being attacked. <laughs> Precious boy, you saved his life. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Good riddance and stay safe. I'm sorry you had to see that side of me. As a kid, dogs always chased me. I still panic when I see one of those critters. I never imagined the great Daruk would have a weakness. So tell me, princess. Yes? Calamity Ganon isn't, uh, some kind of a dog monster, is he? <laughs> 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 I think that one might be my favorite so far. <laughs> I suppose even champions are not immune to fear. So, what do you think of Champion Daruk's song? By writing a song that celebrates the softer side of Champion Daruk, I feel closer than ever to my dear teacher. Oh. The end result is not quite clear yet, but I'm beginning to feel a stirring of inspiration about those verses. I knew you could do it, little guy. Now you can use Daruk's protection more than ever. If you see that Ganon jerk, give him a message for me. Good riddance, bacon breath. Bacon breath? That's not much of an insult. That implies that Ganon eats a lot of bacon, that's a good thing. Champion Daruk's divine gift, so long as you're holding the button, it will automatically protect you from all manner of attacks. It now requires less time to recharge. Eighteen minute cooldown, now down to six minutes? That's true, Erinard, that's a good point. I'll give you that one. Okay, that's three down, one to go. Now we have to go and we do the Rito Village one. Uh, which also means now we need to reselect the uh, thing. So there we go. Let's go to Tabantha Tower. Oh, I know, Erinor. I've actually got a little bit. It's a two and a half minute warning on ads because we were going into a cutscene. I actually hit snooze on the ads. So I added an extra five minutes. So we're good. We can at least get the lay of the land. Then I'll start the break. Then we'll uh, you know, run some clips. 
and I'll be back and we will work on concluding this epic Ballad of the Champion quest line, which is really, really fun so far. All right. Oh, we have nasty crap all over the place here. We're not going to go right there. I don't want to go straight to the monument. Actually, maybe we'll change course and go this way. Uh, just because there's going to be another cutscene there, and that would be cutting it very close. So I think we'll make our way to the top of that peak over there. And we'll just wait it out there while I've got clips. And I'll also just let my powers recharge so that I have... You know, uh, when I inevitably get murdered, I will have my accelerated abilities to draw on. Okay. The, oh, we got a wizard down there. That's fun. All right, guys, I'm going to go take a break. So if you need to get up and grab some food or a snack or a drink, now's a real good time to do it. And I'll meet you back here in just a few. The hell? <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, I, I I may have changed my mind. I actually kind of like this. This has some real potential. Antwerps are on the endangered species list. They are rarely seen. Uh, that's funny. It bounced right off. You seem to have scared the Antwerp with your behavior. <laughs> You're obviously in no shape to continue the game. Gotcha. First try. You fought well. But we're finished. Oh, I found my own echo. That's amazing. I haven't had Prime Rambit in a while. I think I should see if I can possibly make that happen at some point. planning on picking my pockets. Uh... 
That was weird. I wonder how bad it would be if I were to actually start the engine. Okay. Let's take out the mind flare. I'll help however I can. <laughs> Oh my god, what was that physics rag calling? Holy crap! In honor of Greeny. That went better than I expected. Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less scroll. <laughs> what is? Studious, what is? Studious. Wadi sent Aaron and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak. Hey. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> you are Will nothing but the stupid, stupid. Okay, I am back. Thank you. Wait a minute, why do I have a plus on my bomb ability? When did I strengthen that and how? I applaud your courage in coming here. Thank you, Jim. The locations that will be revealed to you are trials that will enhance the power sleeping within. Do not let your guard down. Okay, so we got a thing. And another thing. And yet another thing. Hmm? That light. Is it a reaction to someone nearby? Is it me, or is it... Oh? How long have you been here? I didn't even notice your arrival. Ah, uh, we meet again, and it seems you caught me, well, talking to myself. Look, I'm sure you already know, but it's one of the monuments mentioned in my teacher's unfinished song. Ah, sweet joy. How glorious to sing this song in front of the real monument. The song my teacher left behind, there's a verse about the trials that champion Ravali overcame. Allow me to sing it for you. Welcome back, Kalanray. Wind's ally soars the land of cloud, meadow's champion swift and proud. The hero's power shall grow. Seek trials, monuments show. One, shoot the flame dragon's horn. Two, race down a peak, rings adorn. Three, shoot four targets to win. Champion, the trials begin. So, did it move you? Hang on. We're not quite into spring weather yet. Still need a blanket. By understanding the true natures of the champions, I'm closer than ever to completing those key verses. The confidence it must have taken to master a divine beast. How inspiring. Oh. My teacher's dream is now mine to fulfill. An unfinished song weighs heavily on a bard's soul. I won't allow it. But in order to see this dream to fruition, I must learn more about the champions of long ago. Thankfully, Tiba and the Rito village elder Canelli told me about some wonderful stories of the Rito champion. Yet this unfinished song still pulls at my heart, and so my hometown is but a stopping point on this journey of mine. Ex-champion Ravali's song... 
Alright. So it kind of looks like a crater. That's definitely a cliffside. Hey, Mad, how's it going? I'm having... It, it, it started off as a bit of a rough day, but it's gotten better. It's gotten pretty better. So, it's good to see you. Uh, thank you for the hydrate and the next stretch. Appreciate that. All right, now map. That kind of looks like they're up in the Hebra Mountains area. One of them looks very much like this. So let's take a look at the album. Yeah, this one. So that looks. Oh, I'm start. Ooh, I wonder. Looks like it's somewhere right over here. Maybe somewhat further down, but I'm gonna just put it there for the sake of putting it somewhere. Uh, okay, so next, we have the crater looking thing by a lake, and it looks like the lake has got bridges. So let's see, uh, that looks like the lake there. Potentially. Oh, it's right by the flight range? Okay, so somewhere in there. Jim learns where the grass is by touching it. I would suggest going to talk to the Rito Chieftain. Okay, we can do that. Okay. Not at all certain where that other one is. Let's go visit the chief. Oh, I guess I can probably swap out my armor now, too. Urbosa's fury is ready. Excellent. I'd like to fly, though. I could. Oh, 
Oh, did we never do this? Interesting. So that's why I like to fly. Every once in a while it reminds you of something that you never did or you need to do or you thought you might want to do. Now, as it happens, I'm probably never going to actually get around to doing that one. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? Never mind. I can, in fact, travel to the Rito Village. I forgot about the road thing. Okay. Now, where is this chief again? Is that you? Champion Descendant. A thousand times, thank you. But never mind that now. I am happy to answer anything I can. Oh, oh. <laughs> so you wish to hear about the Blazing Dragon. Well, you're in luck. A dragon was recently spotted near Tenangar Canyon. Oh. It's acting a bit odd, so we're concerned it may eventually cause trouble for our village. That is why I've asked the village guard, Mosley, to keep a close eye on the creature. Okay. Mosley, huh? That's Teba, that's Saki. Shockingly enough, the child is not a guard. I heard that Divine Beast Vamado has been appeased. It just sends my heart soaring. I didn't even realize I had started singing this old song. Did you hear me singing it? Well, that's embarrassing. <clears throat> the pride of the Rito, pillar in the sky. Its heart lights up when the sun is high. There's more to the song, but I forget the rest of the words. You should ask my sister, Lysa, if you want to know the rest. The Ancient Rito Song. Oh, uh, were you expecting more from him? The champion's apprentice successor is in the village. He's not there in my game. Interesting. Mipha's grace is ready. Excellent. So Bedoli told you that I would sing you the last half of the ancient Rito song? Her memory really is the worst. I can help you, but there is a catch. <laughs> Recite the first half from memory and I will teach you the second half. The Pride of the Rito. Pillar in the Sky. Its heart lights up. Now for the final line, when the sun is high. You got every word right. Ah. Well, a promise is a promise. I'll teach you the last half of the song. The heart shines upon a path not whole, but a warming flame can stir its soul. That's the second half of the ancient Rito song. Profound, isn't it? You have heard the rest of the ancient Rito song from Bedoli's sister, Liza. The pride of the Rito, pillar in the sky, its heart lights up when the sun is high. The heart shines upon a path not whole, but a warming flame can stir its soul. What is the hidden meaning in these lyrics? So Tanagar Canyon is the big canyon the dragon flies through, kind of southeast, I think, but there's a specific spot you need to go to. Okay. Have a great day, Aaron Lord. Thank you for being here. South East. I guess it's this one? That has to be the thing, right? So 
so it would be around here. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, I get it. It's right right around here. Ish. Okay, let's do that one first, just because that one's relatively nearby-ish. Oh, right, uh, okay. Where are we going? We're going southeast-ish. Oh, there's our buddy over there. Okay. This is not the right direction in the slightest. What the heck? Weast command. I could work. Really, sir? You're just gonna stand there? Wow. Just hold. Hardy fried wild greens. That's the direction of Ottawa from here. Weast, yeah. Prime meat and seafood fry. What was the other thing I did? Oh, radish. in your town on Friday, the new VW electric car battery plant. Oh, yeah. Yeah, batteries for those things are a big, big deal. That's really cool. Hey! Could that be? No! That's an energetic rhino beetle. It's a rare beetle you almost never see, even though I keep running across them. Ah! 
I'll take all of your finest arrows, sir. Nope, I'm good. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so we were going... Mostly that away. Okay. Fancy meeting you here again, Cass. Now let's see if I can't get off the road. Might have been a tactical error on my part. Wonder if I can maybe stand on this tiny ledge. Nope. <laughs> now, while I've still got plenty of stamina, let's stop leaping up. We'll just climb for a bit. Jim. <laughs> this is not a... Why am I facing the wrong way? This is not a road, sir. You have no business here whatsoever. Off with you. direction even though the dragon is actually there that looks like it might be the cliff that we need is that about right I do believe it is That's awesome, Kalanar. Which ones, if you don't mind my asking? Ooh, it's a little on the chilly side here. Yeah. 
Nice. Very nice. I'm sure the Master Sword won't feel at all insulted at being used as a mining tool. Fretchen and Harper, interesting. What's funny is the Prime Minister visited my city to join some parade, but no one was really aware that he was doing this. Lots of people were confused as to why there were so many cops armed men with rifles that day. That's funny. How's the exam going, Ultra? Oh! Don't you dare. Thank you. Almost done, need two more paragraphs and you're finished? That's awesome. I apparently met Brian Mulrooney as well, but I was six at the time and don't remember it. I think that still counts. Okay. That must be the guard assigned to keep an eye on the dragon. Now, what does the adventure log say about this? Shoot the flame dragon's horn. Race down a peak rings adorn. Shoot four targets to win. Try champion the trials begin. Okay, but he didn't really tell us. Ah. Ah, oh, it's you. What a pleasant surprise. What brings you here? I came here because the Elder tasked me with keeping watch on the dragon that appears around here. It's been appearing quite frequently these days. Everyone's worried it's going to cause trouble for the village. After the incident with Mado, I can't blame them for worrying. So far, everything seems fine. However, just to be safe, I'll be scoping things out for a while yet. Come to think of it, the dragon always flies through this valley at night. When it does, its horns light up. There's something about that light that's truly captivating. I had 25,000 air kilometers under my wings by the time I was 12 and got a pair of golden wings from Air Canada that I still have. That is awesome, Kalinari. Wish they still... They don't do that anymore? Oh, that's sad. I have done very, very, very little flying in my life, so... Uh, I'm nowhere near that. Oh, I just realized I don't have any special fire arrows. Do I need them? No, I just need to shoot the flame dragon's horn. Uh, 
You passed 50,000 before you had to retire from being a plane passenger? Wow. dragon. Where are you? I just did that, Greeny. I just finished waiting for night. Oh, 1 a.m. Jump off to the north. Okay. Take it. Oh, hey. This might have to wait a minute. I can always wait till night again and do it another night. This is important. Dunba Tag Shrine. Interesting one. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Dunba Tag. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Build and release. Okay. far enough. It's very picky. Nope, that's certainly not going to do it. Okay. Okay. Sounds good, Greeny. first time. <laughs> Dead. 
definitely better the first time. I thought it would be better going horizontal, but oh, wait, oh, crap, okay. I thought it was just a flat slab. Also, that doesn't look good. Now it looks stuck. Uh, let's reset this one. I suppose I probably could have used a bomb to dislodge it, but resetting seems okay. Welcome back, Jarig. Oh, that's not gonna... No, okay. way too steep but it does confirm that you really really need to have the curved side up hidden chest or something anywhere around here. Oh, that's good. That sounds good. I am glad you got that walk in. Oh, we're not finished. two chests. We have a ball. We have a button. That's not going to do it. Oh. Well, crap. Wow, Jarek.
got one. Nice. Extra durability, great thunder blade. Thank you. Now we have these things. They do not look magnesisable. So that's our ultimate destination. What the heck is all up there? So we gotta get that button pressed. There's more barrels over here. Let's test an idea out here. No, okay. Aim not so great that time. gets me the the uh, the main exit we still have to push that button back there This needed to happen. It's been a long, long struggle for me, but your schedule change f might finally have been the last inspiration I needed? Oh, that's awesome, Jarek. I'm glad I could help in some indirect way. Schedule's been working pretty well for me so far, too. <laughs> I hope it can withstand a little bit more rough usage. Let's go over here and see if I can do it. Oh crap, did it actually break? Oh, 
I'll use my regular Great Flame Blade then. Oh, that's not right. Oh, very nice, Greeny. I hope your uh, posts continue to get more traction. Boom. Okay. So that clears the way. Now if I can just get something similar to that trajectory, we are golden. through weapons so fast. That wasn't half bad, actually. That was not half bad at all. Made progress. That was progress. Still settling into mine, but so far I've been on the right side of it. Excellent. It's taken some time for me to adjust. I'm still getting to bed later than I would like. Gotcha. But I haven't had any trouble getting up when I need to. I just need to continue to walk that back a little bit. That's going to be a lot easier now because uh, Star Trek Picard and The Mandalorian, their current seasons are done. Falcon Bow. A highly refined Rito made bow created by a master Rito craftsman. Rito warriors favor it for its superior rate of fire, which helps them excel even further at aerial combat. Beautiful. Okay. Now we should be finished. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you the spirit orb. Now, the more I practiced getting the right angle, the better I got at it. So it paid off in the end. Uh, 
Okay. Now we need to get back up there again, so let's just go straight to Hebra Tower. And we'll do it from there. Okay. Uh, we want to be going roughly southish. Maybe slightly more this way. That looks like the ledge we want to be on. No, that's the ledge we want to be on, isn't it? Yeah, it's over here. Okay. Okay, let's also save the game here. So I want to go the other direction, you say. So back this way more. So it's 9.10. We've got a few hours to kill. Basically where the guy was standing. All right. Okay, we're good there. Time passes fairly quickly. Yeah, it's just actually a little awkward right now because time is also passing a little quickly in reality and we've got an ad break coming up in about three minutes or so. Oh, here he comes. Look to the north, your left, and the dragon will be in sight around midnight in range at 1 a.m. Okay, I'm going to actually pause. We're going to do this after the break. He's early. Uh, I don't want to do this until after the break. So I'm going to go take a quick break, and I'll be back in a few minutes. So if you need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack, now's a real good time. And then we'll just sit here and camp and practice getting the dragon until I manage to do it. Might take a few days, but it'll be fine. So I'll be back in a bit. I don't know if we can take another hit. Because we are going to have to go for the silly death, obviously. Open machine. Climb in machine. Well, Roger, it certainly appears as though you're about to become all washed up.
<laughs> Wait, what? Open machine? Oh my god! <laughs> What do you mean you can't reach my freaking location? Right. Coming. Oh. Okay. Now you can reach my location, can you? You were stuck on one tiny little thing. Nice. Trouble. We have to deal with this. Dealt with. I've always kind of just thought that maybe it's um, another term for fast travel. Oh my god. Okay. It is another word for fast travel, but with altitude. Got it. Oh, I found my own echo. That's amazing. Hey, can you guys hang on there for just half a second? I have to scan this thing. You don't mind, right? No, it's not going to let me. That's annoying. Priorities game, priorities. What the hell? Did he shoot my fireball? You talk to Enoriel Eyes. She is the representative of the Pathfinder Society and can organize custom mercenaries for you the, to fill any role in the party you might happen to want that the main characters in the game do not fulfill. So you can create any custom character you care to uh, try out. Yes, I am Lokaius, your wolf god, and now you may take my oath. Abandon your humanity, my boy, and be blessed as wolf kind. It feels like coming home transformation or oaths don't be a flapping fool timon timon kneels and beneath him a green light pools dandelions rise yellow out of the sparse wind-scraped dirt they grow old and white throw their seeds then wilt to nothing the god rock he kneels upon hums it cracks somewhere inside a geode of understanding splits and catches light beneath the earth and behind his eyes. Timon. Is it break time again? Ah! <laughs> oh my god. I wish we could speak backwards. Or what is... Yes, you know. Yes, well, that helps it. Yes, you go. <laughs> 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 I could is way an oak day. What'd you say? Did it work? <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Aw, oh, man. It wore off. Too bad. You made more sense than usual. <laughs> okay. 
Utopia multi-tool station plans. Salvage data 21. Supreme... I didn't catch the rest of it. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, I am back. Hey, Voidum, how's it going? Hope all is well. Uh... What? Where's the thermal? Ah! Oh, it's here. Wow, he moves faster than he looks like he's moving. Thank you, Greeny. Thank you, Mad. I think we're gonna have to try that again tomorrow. Stop following me. I used square so that you wouldn't roll. I'm not too worried about upgrade materials right now. But that is a decent point. I will have to think about it. What? Off the top of your head requires Dragon Scale to upgrade, do you know? Because that would be the big thing. If it's something that I really want to upgrade, then I would definitely, that would be a priority. But if it's something I don't care about or don't really need, then I'm not going to worry too much. <laughs> what the heck? Excuse me? What are you... Wow. I wish they had an evening option. <laughs> um, let's take a look at the map here. Thandara's Plateau is there, Mount Rome, Tabantha Bridge Stable. I could go to the stable in the meantime, I guess. What's up? Hi. Well, if it isn't the all-knowing young man. I'm in the market for a little something to pique my curiosity, so I spend my time gazing into the horizon. they've got an axe around. I could use a new axe. I don't see any axes. I could also use new arrows, though. A bladed rhino beetle. Yes, you can have it, of course. 
Mighty Meat and Rice Bowl. I'm good, thank you. <laughs> they've got a torch, they've got a bow. Oh, what's that? That's another torch. Oh, they do have an axe. Perfect. Okay. Um... Usually, oh, the final level up. Yeah, I'm probably not going to do the last fairy, though, so I won't be able to get the final level. So that would be, you know, if I happen to get some dragon scales, great. If not, I'm not going to worry too much about it. Okay, what time is it now? 1.35? This might not be the worst spot to wait for the dragon, honestly. Those things are huge. I should be able to see it well in advance if I'm here. And then I can kind of just drift down towards it. That's true, the dragon is fast. It's a long time to wait though, since I can't apparently consistently just wait until night, because for some reason it seems to be getting earlier every night. What the hell is that? What is that? What the heck? Have you seen that before, Greeny? What is that? Do you know? Satori Mountain. Is it one of those things that only looks like it's glowing when you're far away and then it stops when you get too close? Oh, guardian spirit, lots of bunnies, okay.
Oh, this looks like it could be the... I'm actually not going to shoot anymore, just in case the spirit gets mad. Gone for now? Okay, that's fair. I think it's going away now. Oh well, that's fair. That's really cool. Thank you for pointing that out. Oh, 5.30. Okay. Uh, I think now we need to get back in position. We were up here. Where were we? Right, right, here. You can actually ride it, but it disappears once you get off it. Yeah, but that would be using a mount. We can't do that. That's that's just not a thing. All right. Time to game and lurk some? No worries, J uh, Jeru. To game, how's it going? It's so good to see you. I am so sorry I forgot that you changed your name. I feel terrible about that. <laughs> It is great to see you, though. How are you doing? Waiting here for a dragon. I think this is the third night we've attempted it. It keeps showing up earlier and earlier, so it's been really hard to track down. So instead of waiting for nighttime to fall, I've now had to wait for afternoon and then just kill an immense number of hours in the hopes that I can catch up with it. It's probably going to be here within a couple of hours now. I'm doing very well. It, the day started off kind of rough. But it's gotten better, mostly because of stream. So thank you for asking. You must be off. Thank you so much for the help, Greeny. I will catch you again soon. All right. Come on, dragon. It's almost eight o'clock. He's supposed to show up around, you know, midnight or 1 a.m. But lately he's been showing up, like, before 9. Okay, let's just make sure I'm ready. Got that. Got lots of arrows. 
Come on, dragon. Okay, starting to get a little darker. <laughs> Do dragons like Skittles? I would think they'd be a little small, but maybe they just like them in bulk. Okay, what the heck? Now it's just trolling me. It's after nine. Tonight, tonight is going to be the night that it goes back to its normal schedule, isn't it? What? You got this, Ultra. You can do it. You're so close. One measly little paragraph and you are free forever. Just words between you and freedom. You're not going to let words get the best of you, are you? He's supposed to spawn at 1 a.m. I know, but like I waited until night that other night, and when I looked up, he was already practically halfway up the canyon. So it just figures that today's the day. I uh, decide to uh, adjust my own schedule, and he decides to go back to his regular schedule or something. Because it's now quarter after ten, and he's nowhere to be seen. Oh, thank you, Ebert. I just realized I've been sitting here with this coffee. I haven't even had my second yet. Come on, dragon. Uh, dragons are stubborn, aren't they? Sometime before I have to end stream would be perfect, Dragon. Okay, midnight. I think he's on to my plans. That's got to be it. That's the only explanation. He knows I'm waiting. Oh, crap. No. No. <laughs> Don't fall down into the canyon, please. Oh, oh, here he comes. Okay, now I just need an updraft. A thermal would be real nice. Oh, and there's a falling star, too. At least I thought I saw one. I don't see a beam of light, though. Oh, oh, oh. Where is it? It's starting. Gimme. I need that. Where is it? Uh, 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 
I need the updraft. It was there for a second. Where the heck? Nope. The updraft is just not consistent. It appeared for a second. It appeared again for a second, and that was it. Welcome on in, Moose. I'm afraid I don't speak that language. But welcome, welcome. Okay, we're going to have to try this again and trust that he's going to be late arriving again. And I'm going to call it late, even if it's perfectly on time. Hey, Sketchy, it's going good. Got it, Greeny. Okay. This is kind of making me glad I can't get Star Wars. The, uh... Oh, there he comes. See? He's early again. Uh, I can't get Jedi Survivor just yet, because clearly this one is going to take the longest of all of the bits of the uh, the champion's ballad. But I think one more stream, probably Friday, I should be able to finish this. And I don't know what comes after defeating this part of it. If there's more that you have to do, or if you just claim your reward at that point, but um, at that point, I think Friday or Saturday, we should be able to finish Breath of the Wild. My bet would be Friday, unless it takes me forever to infiltrate the castle and destroy Ganon. Okay. I see what you mean. Gotcha. Thank you, Grinny. I would have got that eventually, but it would have taken a lot longer without the help. A lot longer. Okay, now, oh, it's across the way. Let's head over there. The sh oh, down there? Okay. I assume that's it there. That looks very shard-like. Dinral scale. This precious scale Fred fell from the red spirit Dinral. It emanates a great heat. You can use it in cooking, but just eating it seems like a waste. Okay.
I'm glad that wasn't an actual battle. I would not want to have to fight that thing. <laughs> have a great evening, Greeny. Thank you so much for the help. I appreciate it. Uh, which way is north? North is there, so we want to go down this way. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Thank you, Radar. Well aware. Nice. Oh, he's coming back again? What? Interesting. Is that because I teleported and because he was early the first time? trollish dragon I've ever seen. Not that I've seen a large number of them in this game. I've, you know, run into a few now and then, but that's about it. see what this one's all about. I can't believe it's been, we've been trying to get here for well over an hour now, I think, I want to say. And this is only the first of the uh, Rito Village Divine Guardian Shrines. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Shira Gomar. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Aim for stillness. Wonder. No, okay. It did seem to get caught in the updraft, though. That's it. I do have bomb arrows, so I might be able to blow those up with that. 
kind of hate to waste them. Oh. Oh. Never mind. No need. Probably. It almost worked even with a misplaced placement. Oh, too early. Okay. I think I see what's going on. this trigger. Oh, that's just... It's toggled on and off by that... the challenge just getting it into this horn Ugh. there we go and that's nowhere near where we need it This reminds me of a missed puzzle. Yeah, I can see that. I might have to cheat. And by cheat, I mean use creative alternative problem solving skills. quite the way I'd hoped. I was going to try using Mipha's Grace, then I remembered you can't use Mipha's Grace inside a temple or a shrine or whatever they're called. This is the worst part of it. I wonder if there's a part I'm missing. Is there a way to stop that from functioning, maybe? Or block it from dropping? And also, I see that chest there. Oh. 
Oh, God. Nope. Give me back. Nope. Damn it. Okay. I didn't get quite enough height. This might be the most annoying one that I've had to encounter. Maybe not the rudest, but the most annoying for sure. Oh my god. Of course. I'm a doofus. Never mind. Got it. There we go. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of the goddess Ilea, I bestow upon you this gift, Meadow's emblem. The commemorative symbol of a wind trial's completion by one who wishes to control a divine beast. Collecting three emblems will lead to a new challenge. Collect three emblems to open the path to a new challenge, which basically means you get to fight the divine beast, you know, blighted Ganon, again, only with really predetermined crappy equipment. Which, weirdly enough, seems easier than fighting it the first time was. Okay. One, shoot the flame dragon's horn. Check. Two, race down a peak rings adorn. Three, shoot four targets to win. Champion, the trials begin. Okay, so I'm pretty certain I know which ones are which at this point now. This will be the peak we have to go down, and then this is literally the target shooting range that the uh, Rito have set up, so that'll be the four targets we have to do. So we are going to go to the peak here, and we'll do that one. That one should be pretty quick and easy. I should be able to finish that before I have to wrap up. I've still got a little bit of time before we have to go. Now, I say it'll be quick and easy. I have obviously just shot myself in the foot by doing so, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is, oh God. This is going to be shield sledding, isn't it? I have no idea how to do that. I've done it like maybe once or twice throughout this entire playthrough, and the last time was back in 2020. There we go. I will take that. Okay, where are we? So we need that yellow point there. Ah. Okay, so... Let's save the game. 
Now, is that the start of the course? I think that's the start of the course. Let's see if this is going to require shield sledding. It does kind of look like it's going to require shield sledding. Oh my god, I did it? That's a really long way, though. Link, run. time for your frivolous silliness. No! Oh my god! Oh my... God. No! Oh god, there's no chance. No! Damn it! I'm impressed I made it so far without having to resort to shield sledding. Holy crap, did I start all the way up here? So I must have gone all the way down and around there? Wow. I guess I kind of maybe have to relearn how to do the shield sled thing. Let's see. Ability controls. Shield surf. Guard, jump, and ride. I'm not sure that's working entirely as promised, but we'll see. Maybe it has to be a steep enough slope. Or maybe it has to be a physical shield and not just an energy plate. failed. This is not working. got it there. I think 
it was kind of misrepresenting the controls a little bit. I don't think you have to, you know, hit jump and then hit the uh, the slide button. I think you have to hit jump and the slide button simultaneously, or it does not work. No. Give me that axe back. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Which is good, because I need to uh, raid out pretty soon. Here, let me take care of that. I'm gonna snooze the, yeah, the, uh, the ads so we have a little bit more time. No! Okay, fine, forget the freaking axe. This is so freaking hard. Probably a lot easier if I just remove my other weaponry. go. Come on. Get it. That's just rude. So basically, I think what I have to do is flip out of my shield sledding mode, get into hang gliding mode to catch that updraft and get the height I need to go back into doing it again. Because doing it the one time was not hard enough. Do it! Do the thing, Link! Oh my god. this. Get out of the way, wolf. Oh my god. I did it. Out of the way. Coming through.
Okay, we're making progress. We're further now than we got last time. Is this not the end? Come on, please. Not now. Thank you. Thank you. There we are. Kia Toza Shrine. I'll save so I don't have to do that again. <laughs> I probably don't have time to finish this shrine, but we can at least take a quick look at it, and maybe if I can do it really fast, we can get through it. But if it looks really complicated like that last one, probably not. But we'll see. Let's go down and check it out. Sets foot in this shrine. I am Kia Toza. In the name of the goddess Ilea, I offer this trial. Master the orb. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to do this one. Interesting. so bad so far. Now, what's it doing at this point? Okay, so it's just falling off into nowhere. What happens if I go and step on this button? It looks very steppable, but that doesn't seem to do a whole lot. We need to divert the uh, thing over. So is there a way to reverse the direction of that thing? Like that big obvious orange button over there, perhaps, as an example. Crap, you have to actually literally stand on the thing. Okay, so let's just watch where this goes. I must away to help the wife have a great evening. Thank you so much, Kellenray. I'll be wrapping up in a minute. I can't stay. I probably, sadly, will not be able to finish this after all. 
Yeah, that's just tipping too far. So there's got to be something else we can do. So that's coming along. That's probably in the neighborhood of the right thing, but uh, it's not good enough. So we're going to leave the save here, and we'll pick this up next time. I wish I could stay longer, but uh, we do have to get going. I need to get going. I've got stuff I have to do tonight. And I will check my awesome list of awesome people so that we can find somebody worthy of going to check out this evening. We're still kind of getting used to the new schedule figuring out who's live at this time of day on which days so let me see what have we got going on looks like candlejack is playing some daisy game cleric is playing breath of the wild if you want more of that greeny has started his stream he's playing the witcher 3 the wild hunt um Uzi Princess is on. She's playing Escape from Tarkov. It's been years since we had a chance to rate her. Mandolin is playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. Tracy Cola is playing War Tales, although I'm not certain whether... She's got a blank thumbnail. I don't know if she's ending or maybe just beginning. The Geek Entry is on. She's doing just chatting at the moment. I think she usually does gameplay, though, eventually. Kismet is doing some Nitro Stream Racing. Elbel is on playing Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Michelle Boyd is just chatting. She'll probably be playing something later on. Um, wow, there's a lot of people on right now. Elspeth is playing Dead Island 2, which I didn't think I was going to have any interest in, but it looks really fun. Ash Monster is playing Horizon Forbidden West. I think she might be trying to either take on the final boss in the main game, or she might have gotten past that finally and be working on Burning uh, Shores. And that looks like that's about it. Thank you, Ultra. Are you done with your paragraph? Are you done with everything? Are you finally free? So I realize that was a long list and I can go over it again if you need me to. But if anything there stood out, let me know and we will go. Hey, Amish, we're just wrapping up. How are you doing today? It's good to see you. Doing references now, 99.99999% done. Excellent. So by the time you raid, I'll be finished. Right now, I'm most inclined to go with we could go with Greeny. Always like raiding Greeny. Or we could go with Ash Monster. Because I would love to see how she's doing with the either the final boss or the DLC, depending. I abstain because my vote is biased. That's true. We could go with Game Cleric. That's that's good. Going to Greeny's channel one way or another? Excellent. Let me just take a quick look at Ash. She's basically the top of the user list right now. Um, but I would love to see where she is in the game. Holy crap. Okay, I, I, I love raiding Ash, but we're not raiding her because it looks like she's further in the DLC than I am now. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe not that. She might actually be in the last stages of the DLC. Let's go with... Um, oh, God. Okay. I need your help, guys. Should We've never raided Cleric before. Actually, we're going to go raid Cleric today. We're going to go raid Cleric today. We have many chances to raid Greeny. Let's get some of these other people in. We don't get to raid as often. We 
We're gonna go raid the game cleric. Thank you, Hammer. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I really appreciate you coming and hanging out. Let me get you the brand new raid call for the channel. Uh, some of you might have seen it. We've used it once before. All right, folks. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Shh. It's a library raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote, the wave emote, and the Shh emote of the channel if you are a sub. If you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch raid and the, the Tomb Raid emote as usual. It was absolutely fun. Thank you, Callan Ray. I appreciate it. If you're not a sub, you can use the, um, you can use, uh, God, I'm, I'm a little bit tired today. If you're not a sub, you can use Twitch Raid and Tomb Raid emotes as usual. And of course, whether you're a sub or an unsub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own, maybe from another streamer or from Twitch themselves, copy the raid message and uh, arrange the emotes you want to use whatever way you want them to appear and it'll all be good in my book so let's get over to cleric's channel see how she's doing introduce ourselves to her she hangs out with us quite a bit but uh, we've never had the opportunity to go and return the favor and hang out with her so let's see what she's up to see how breath of the wild is going for her and i will catch you guys again real soon i will be back on friday so have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night day evening whatever it is where you are in the world and i'll see you again real soon bye for now lined up shot. That hits entirely differently in this game than it normally does. I'm used to hearing that one in Far Cry when I fly somewhere. F6 to release grip on the rope. release your grip on the rope. This has a negative effect on your resistance to the urging. Heck, all of those signs. I'm keeping this one. It says keep, right? Well, I guess we're not keeping it. 